Hi, I'm Michael Smith for Nevada Trails. Tonight, I have a very special show. I have uh, Beverly and Jeff. These are musicians from the Sierra Songwriters, right? Sierra Songwriters, part of the Nashville Songwriters Association, yes. And we have some exciting news. We have somebody who um, is coming from Nashville to give us uh, some, some his talents, as it were. Yes, um, we're very excited um, to bring Bill D. Luigi out. Uh, Bill is an up-and-coming songwriter in Nashville, and in 2013 uh, won the award uh, as Best New Songwriter in the Nashville uh, Association, Songwriters Association, uh, with his song October. And this is quite, quite an event because every year the Nashville Songwriters Association has this um, contest. And his entry won out of 2,000 entries. That's exactly what I was going to ask you. If you uh, want to be in the contest, do you send a, a demo, or you just is it, do they see you live, or and it's like the National National Songwriters Association that gets all these and then tries yes. to compile 2,000. They go through 2,000. Obviously, they call it down, and then um, they judge based on. Uh, from professional artists and songwriters are the judges. Are these all people based in, in that area? Or because isn't the Sierra Songwriters uh, affiliated it's a, with? Affiliated, right. And yeah. They have affiliates all over the country. So you could be sending in your music as well for a song and, ha and have a chance. And have you guys done, done that before? I've done that before. Awesome. Uh, yes. And uh, so far, not so good. Well, do they come back and give you critiques on it so you can learn from your songwriters? They absolutely do. Uh, the Nashville Songwriters Association, they have. Uh, schools that you can attend. They have seminars you can go to. Uh, we'll be going down to Tin Pan South at, in the end of March. Uh, where uh, last year I ended up in a very small venue and there was Vince Gill and Larry Gatlin, Billy Yates, and these are all accomplished songwriters. And after the show we sat around, passed a guitar around and sang. Awesome. Well, where is that again? It's in Nashville, okay, and it's called Tin Pan South, and <laughs> it's, a, it, it's a place. It's it's designed for the songwriters, so you hear uh, people that you never knew wrote the song, and you hear their interpretation of maybe a hit song they wrote. Awesome. Well, I ran into the uh, Sierra Songwriters. I was invited to the play monthly. That was the first Friday of the month at uh, Coma Coffee in Carson City, and we've done a couple a uh, couple shows and talk about skills. Oh man. I, I... We do have some very accomplished songwriters in our area and one of our goals with putting on these kinds of events is to sort of open up a pipeline between here and Nashville. Nashville not just being a hub for country music but for sev several genres of well, music. Americana is getting pretty common. It is. It yeah. is. So this gives um, our local songwriters exposure to someone who has made it in Nashville and that also opens up the pipeline though for our local songwriters to have their music heard in that area as well. Exactly and you guys have uh, Reno meetings like the first Monday of the month or something like that? Is, yes. Is that correct? Yes. So if you're a young person right now watching this you can join your organization and get yes. and you have from the your benefit experience of, you've already done the hard knock things. Right. You right. can get help with your songs and you can get feedback, critiquing, um, workshops as well. Well, I know you're all nice people too, so you would you, <laughs> you would hurt your feelings because I know that there's so much love and passion goes in these songs, but it takes right because we've had a lot of young people on, on this show. We just had recently had a group called Ether that were 18, and we try to get the young ones in and encourage them to keep trying because the, the the curve is so fast of how fast they learn, but you got to get them to start. Yes. And uh, so I'm proud of you guys. That's really a nice goal. Well, it's also that they understand that you craft a song. You really do craft it. A lot of people think you just write it and there's a song. It has to be crafted. It has to have dynamics. It has to have an ebb and flow. And it has to have a message. And the one thing I would tell a lot of the young songwriters or uh, wanting to be a songwriter, have a hook. Have a hook to a song. Once that hook, and the hook could be notes, it could be a little melody line, or it could be the lyrics, but you have to catch people's attention first. And if you don't have that hook, it's just kind of another song. Well, I think uh, one thing good about songs, I think people will give you respect for three minutes. You can, 
But if it's a, an actual show, then in our business, you get the clicker. Yes, <laughs> so absolutely. I, I went about six or seven hooks in a row. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You can see them on, uh, we put a lot of the shows on YouTube, and uh, you don't know what they, the audience wants. I've had some surprises. Uh, Dave Levert, uh, one of your, um, your, your Sierra songwriters, his show has just taken off. And, I, and you know, not that I'm surprised for him, but it's just you'll have the level of talent's all pretty even, I think. And all of a sudden, one just goes and goes, and you don't know why. But when you break down his work, it's pretty consistent with what you're all professional. Right. And, and you guys have been playing for a long time, haven't yeah. you? I've played music with Dave Le Leather, and he has, he's kind of his own hook. He has this style, and he has that voice. And it just kind of reaches out and pulls you in. Well, he kind of cheated. He brought a dog. <laughs> <laughs> you can never go wrong with a dog. If you have Boone, the singing dog, you're there. So, That's but uh, true. you can't really take it to all your performances. But uh, you all, uh, is your group called the Jeff Davis Project? It is. And it they is. can find you how for? Beverly, or I guess the best way to find us is either through Sierra Songwriters. Uh, they can also contact us um, through the point and and I guess we have a number and a web and uh, my I guess email yes so red horse Jeff red horse Jeff at hotmail.com okay is our email address what does red horse stand for is that like a symbol of your uh, label or something it is it's our logo okay. so our company is red horse entertainment and red horse music Okay, seems to me I've seen the Red Horse someplace. Are you at A to Zen, per, per chance? No. Okay, no. seems like I, saw, I, saw, I think I saw a CD that had it on it. Maybe it was just something else I saw. Yeah. Well, uh, how's, how's your business going? Because this is your, your livelihood, too. This is, this is a labor of love for us, and at, at this point, so much hinges on this first concert with Bill Luigi. We know that this is not going to make any money. We won't break even. But like Beverly was saying, I want these young, old, middle-aged songwriters, poets, you can sit afterwards. If you get a VIP ticket, you can sit afterwards and talk to Bill. Okay. Well, go ahead and tell you where, where the event is. You can't say the prices on uh, public access. No. But tell them the location, when the event is, and maybe they can come and meet him. Yes. Um, <laughs> go ahead. So I brought a picture of Bill, Bill DeLuigi. Our concerts are going to be March 14th and 15th, that's Saturday and Sunday. The Saturday concert starts at 6, the Sunday concert starts at 4. And there are general admission tickets and VIP tickets. And the VIP tickets will give you a post-concert reception with him. We're going to have more food and Q&A and just a chance to, to visit with him. And he's, everyone's getting a picture and can get an autograph with him. Awesome. And he's just a delightful, delightful man. He's, he, his passion for writing just comes through, and he wants to share his knowledge and expertise. Well, how many years did you try out for this particular award? Many years. It's not like Many years. You, 10, 15 years. So being one out of 2,000 is many Pretty years. Pretty special. Many years trying. Yeah, it is. Well, that's, that's awesome. It it's, sounds quite, like it's quite an accomplishment. And uh, so, again, uh, can they get information from your website? Do you have that posted as well? Yes, or call my number at 775 209 3996 or contact us at redhorsejeff at hotmail.com. And as far as the Sierra Songwriters, did we get that contact out? I didn't, I didn't remember that. Uh, how, to, well, how to find them to get you know, become a member? I'm, I, I, I think. No. I think the gentleman to look up, well, um, the a, Wildflower? Wildflower in, um, on 4th Street in Reno. Patricia Campbell, okay. who hosts the meetings there. If you contact her, she can put you in contact with, with any of us. Because I know I'm going up to uh, the meet the group, the first uh, next meeting, so I'm looking Good. forward to it. And that's where the meetings are held? Wildflower on 4th Street in Reno. Mm -hmm. Can you just show up or do you need to pre-call? No, you can you show, can up, show up. It's better, but they yeah, like, just they show like up. An RSVP, but it's not required. How many people can show up? <laughs> I don't know. As many as they wish. There's a gentleman there, and I want to mention him because he's been so special uh, to this community. His name's Marty Easter, and he has kept the Sierra Songwriters going for over 20 years. Awesome. When other people have faded, Marty is also one of the most phenomenal songwriters in the area. He invited us uh, last year, and we did the Hump Buckle Festival, which was a 
is a huge event to be invited to in California and performed over there with Marty. But Marty will, will take care of you if you come there. The other thing I want people to know, especially the songwriters, when we bring in an accomplished songwriter, whether it's a young one who's on his way up or a veteran, we're going to have different artists get to open for them so they can put that in their portfolio, so they can hang out, so they can get a critique and they can look back and say, you know, I got to open for this, this person. That goes such a long way in establishing, you know, who you are and giving you some credentials to go play other places. Excellent. Well, I know at the uh, Coma Coffee event you have four artists per month and it rotates and it's just great, great to watch. I think we have one of those on YouTube. But we're down to our last minute. There's anything else you want to say about the upcoming event before you do a couple songs for us? Well, we're going to open for uh, Jeff and I you're, are going to open. You're the openers. We're, we're the, the openers, openers this very time. First one. Are we're we the, allowed to bring our cameras for this event? Yes. We, we, would, love, we would love to have you, you there. Like. You, got, you, got, you got permission? <laughs> yes. Awesome. We would love to yeah. have Great you news. there. I got scoop, uh, goosebumps. Yes, I didn't know that. You got a scoop. And our plan is for future events, we would have other local artists, other other than ourselves, we'll open the first time. In the future, we'll have other local songwriters well, open. Well, it sounds like this is going to be a recurring event, and let's uh, let's yes. support it and keep the songwriting going in uh, in Nevada. And I think we got some skills, and hopefully, you'll see many people like Jeff and Beverly on uh, Nevada trails. We're going to try to have them show their skills, and hopefully, we can be an influence on the young you know songwriters out there. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank okay, you. we're going to take a, a small break. When we come back, we'll see Jeff and Beverly do a couple songs for us. Thank you very much. Not that young, not so old, I ain't really shy, but really not so bold, you see I'm somewhere, somewhere in between, taking my half in the middle of, of the road. road. Short. But I'm really not that small. I don't get too high. It's a lot less further to fall. You see, I'm somewhere, somewhere in between, between taking my half in, in the, the middle, middle of, of the road. road. But certainly not light Don't know if I'm wrong I don't care if I'm right I like it here Waiting for the seas to part I don't know where it stops I don't care where it stops not too slow, but not that fast. Man, if you don't believe me, you can just check my path. You see, I'm somewhere, somewhere in between, taking my half in the middle of the road. Hop the flood to Albuquerque. I drank too much, paid the price. 
Tried to sort out some old feelings. I tried to drink you off my mind. Maybe more miles are what I'm needing. Maybe just a little more wine. Either way, I'll keep on moving till my heart goes blind. I didn't want to love you. You sure didn't want to love me. Either way, I'll keep on moving. Another rum and coke for me. Hop to fly to Minnesota. Catching up with some old friends. I knew a girl, she looked so much like you. I'm trying to tie up you loose ends. But maybe more miles are what I'm needing. Maybe just a little more wine. Either way, I keep on moving till my heart goes blind. I didn't want to love you. You sure didn't want to love me. Either way, I keep on moving Another rum and coke for me. Hopped a flight to Albuquerque and tried to drink you off my mind. Wrote this as a young man on my way to Memphis. And down south of my Cadillac Never been this happy as a matter of fact Rolling through the boot hill and over the thrill Got a drop top fleet with him, my tank is filled Memphis, Bill Street, Blues and me Memphis, Bill Street, Blues me. No telephone, no telemarket telling how long I stay. I got some licks in this tailor and I'm raring to play. Ain't no side busting bumpkin, I ain't just out of school. I'm a bad mamma jamma, a guitar playing fool. Memphis, Bill Street, Blue. Me. Memphis, Bill Street, Blues and Me. And oh, ain't it a gas? If I could just give me some cash to make it last. Trouble with my wallet, but I won't fuss. If I had to sell the fleet one, then I'll just take a bus. Trouble with the ladies when my money run out. But there ain't no choice and there ain't no doubt. Memphis, Bill Street, Blues and me. Memphis, Bill Street, Blues and me. Memphis, Bill Street, Blues and me. This next song I wrote. 
came to me one night driving home, and I think it's happened to so many of us. You hear an oldie song, and all of a sudden there's maybe just a smell of pines, or it's fall, or it's winter, and that song comes on, and it takes you back to another place in time, and sometimes to another person, but it just stays with you then, and it lingers. So this song came out from that. Just a question to yourself Nobody hears it It's a picture on a shelf But nobody sees it A moment from your past You thought it wouldn't last But it won't leave It's a picture in your mind and nobody sees it A moment in your life When everything went right And it won't leave you Something in the air Or maybe that song And you wonder how you've changed And nobody sees it Could there be a chance It was such a great romance And it won't leave you Something in the air Or maybe that song
about your world of worry. Slow down the rain.